Solar freaking roadways. What are they? They're solar freaking roadways. What do they want from me? Well, they're solar freaking roadways. Okay, so actually this time, what is it? It's technology that replaces all roadways, parking lots, sidewalks, driveways, tarmacs, bike paths, and outdoor recreation surfaces with solar panels. And not just lifeless, boring solar panels, smart microprocessing, interlocking, hexagonal solar units. No more useless asphalt and concrete just sitting there baking in the sun, needing to be repaved and filling with potholes that ruin your axle alignment on your sweet ride, bro. These are intelligent solar panels. Replace the panel at a time if damaged or malfunctioning. They're covered with a new tempered glass material that has been designed and tested to meet all impact, load, and traction requirements. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity. They generate capital. They pay for themselves, and they keep paying more because we're not going to run out of sun for like 15 billion years. That lowers the cost of energy, unlike those bills in the mail that keep going up. And it's clean energy. Everyone can theoretically drive an electric car with no pollution and a minimal carbon footprint. Can you imagine how good our cities would smell? How much healthier we'd all be? Excuse me, young man. Am I being led to believe that this thing is some sort of thing? Yes, it's a thing. A real thing. And clean energy is only its primary function. Grab a notepad, because this is where it gets interesting. For those in the north, the panels use energy they collect to power elements to keep the surface temperature a few degrees above freezing. They're heated. No more ice and snow on roads causing traffic delays, accidents, and injury. No more shoveling your driveway and sidewalk. No salt corroding your car or wasting tax money on snow removal. And you can ride your bike or drive your motorcycle all year round. Whoa! Every panel has a series of LED lights on the circuit board that can be programmed to make lanescape designs, warning signs, parking lot configurations, whatever. These roads never have to have lanes repainted, just reprogrammed to whatever we choose or whatever works best. Imagine a highway road lighting up ahead of you. How much safer it would be to drive at night. There'd be improved visibility for pilots landing on solar landing strips. Imagine walking onto a solar recreation court and choosing a sports configuration. Want to play basketball? Cool. Kids want to play hopscotch in Foursquare? Awesome. Ball hockey? Done. And with LED D lights under your feet, it's gonna look like freaking Tron out there. But real, because this is the real world. Whoa. But these panels are also pressure sensitive, so they can detect when large debris like branches or boulders have fallen onto the road, or if an animal is crossing. It can warn drivers with LED text to slow down for an obstruction. I'm very, you know, environmentally conscious. Good, because solar roadways use as much recycled material in their production as possible. Plus, the roadways have two channels that form what's called a cable corridor that runs concurrently with the roadways themselves. One part houses electrical cables, meaning power lines, data lines, fiber optics, and high-speed internet, which replaces the need for telephone poles and hanging wires that can be damaged during storms causing power outages or become extremely dangerous if severed either as fallen live wires or buried cables. The other channel captures and filters storm water and melted snow, moving them either to a treatment facility or treating them on site, greatly decreasing the amount of pollution that enters our soil, lakes, rivers, and oceans. I'm kind of broke, bruh. Yeah, no kidding. The economy is in the toilet. Do you realize how many thousands of jobs this could create and sustain? Talk about a hypodermic adrenaline shot to the heart of the manufacturing and infrastructure sector. And it pays for itself. They're solar freaking roadways. Um, I have concerns about the future. Is this thing even possible? I told you, yes. Solar roadway technology was invented by engineering couple Julie and Scott Broussard in 2006. Two of the sweetest people in the world who met when they were three and four years old. Listen to these two. Hi, we're Scott and Julie Broussard, inventors of solar roadways. We met in the 1960s when we were three and four years old. These wonderful, intelligent people people want to begin manufacturing a technology that can power the future of the whole freaking planet. They were awarded a contract from the Federal Highway Administration to build two prototypes which are now complete. They're too humble and wonderful to yell at you over the internet, so I'm gonna do it. You need to know about this technology. You need to get behind it. You need to share it with everyone you know, because this is actually happening. Whoa! For the first time in human history, we have the technology to do what nature has done since the beginning of life on this planet. Harness the power of the sun to fuel our pursuits. And this isn't about filling a field with solar panels wasting land. Our roads and parking lots are just sitting there, reflecting sunlight and absorbing heat, not doing nothing for nobody. Which I guess means it's doing something for somebody, but not very much. It's time for an upgrade. We have to make the changes we want to see in the world. The FHWA has provided the startup funds to create the prototypes, but now a grassroots effort of concerned and inspired people can push this project into independent production. If we vote with our money for projects we believe in, we can create a future where our society is driven by new ideas. It need only begin with private driveways and parking lots. Once the ball gets rolling, it'll create a momentum all of its own. Let's put our roads to work. Not to mention, it's finally
literally gonna look like the freaking future out there. City streets, driveways, sidewalks, and schoolyards glowing with LED panels. Are you kidding? Imagine street festivals. Imagine Mardi Gras. Imagine the Movement Electronic Music Festival in downtown Detroit. But all the concrete and hard plaza has been replaced with pressure sensitive panels with multicolored lights in them. I would lose my mind. And not to mention the freaking solar panels. It has been estimated that if all the roads in America were converted to solar roadways, the country would generate three times as much energy as it currently uses. Think about that. An abundance of clean energy. So quickly, in review, love biking? Solar roadway. Hate high energy bills. Solar roadway. Love the movie Tron. Solar roadway. Worried about the economy? Solar roadway. Love sports? Solar roadway. Scared of hitting moose? Solar roadway. Hate gasoline prices? Solar roadway. Love helping developing countries? Solar roadway. Hate tar fumes? Solar roadway. Love recycling? Solar roadway. Hate winter driving? Solar roadway. Hate shoveling snow? Solar roadway. Love clean air? Solar roadway. Need a job? Solar roadway. Want to save this planet and make it sustainable for your kids and all future generations of life who can look back and say, hey, at least they invented solar freaking roadways. Please follow the link to Indiegogo.com. Meet Scott and Julie Brusaw, check out their work, and get informed. This isn't just donating. It's an investment in a real future. Let's do this, because finally, it's possible. Will I lose? Thank you. And I could not see.